in the beginning before everything else. There were hard-working employees with good ideas. They believed in the company they were working for, but no one was listening to what they had to say. Company information cascaded down from top to bottom, and as a result, ideas were ignored and service suffered. It was a dark, dark time for internal communications. There were sporadic publications on sharing information, but there was no significant progress until... The 80s, when from the worlds of journalism and marketing came internal marketing. While a good start, it was a triumph of style over substance. Rather than being listened to, the employees were asked to believe in their company as much as the CEO did. The irony was that they never said they didn't believe in the company, they just wanted to have more of a say. In the 90s, the idea of employee engagement emerged. This was the degree to which an employee was committed to the values and beliefs of the company they worked for. Ideally, the employees would see their self-worth as synonymous with the work they did and the organisation they were part of. CEOs inspired their high-level managers, who instructed the middle managers, who told some slightly lower-level managers. Slowly, information about the company values trickled down, but by the time it had reached frontline employees, the message had inevitably become diluted. Many companies reverted to what they knew, continuing to make the point that their companies were organisations that people should be proud to be a part of. And though employees were proud and they carried on working just as hard as before, their ideas went unheard. They felt a little second best. With the millennium came an explosion in new forms of communication. Using digital video became increasingly popular with internal communication managers who learned design and film shooting skills in order to communicate with employees in increasingly clever ways. No longer just a tool for giving out information, internal communication began to shape how organisations did business. By knowing more about their employees, companies found they could attract the best talent by showing them that their company could reward team members in ways that were fulfilling for them, and this became known as the employee value proposition. Internal communication was being taken more seriously than ever. In 2008, the UK government commissioned its first serious piece of research into employee engagement. New qualifications were launched, including the CIPR, Internal Communication Certificate and Diploma. IOIC, then called Communicators in Business, CIPR Inside and Melcrum, represent the wide-ranging interests of professional internal communicators. While things were definitely getting better, the process is still predominantly one way, top-down and hierarchical. Social media became more and more popular. Peers collaborated on LinkedIn. Customers shared their experience via likes, social networks and internet reviews. With all this additional power, a customer's good opinion was paramount. For the employees, however, all those great ideas were still not being heard. Employees saw themselves as less respected by their own companies than the customers they served. Which brings us to the present day. Can we do any better? There have never been more communication tools, support, research or wisdom at our disposal than there is right now. The economic climate is forcing organisations to think of new and innovative ways to collaborate with their employees and customers. The need to engage employees and build trust by using the expertise of strategic internal communication advisors has never been plainer. We are at a crossroads. We need to do something different. Rather than ask the employees to engage with the companies we serve, couldn't we ask the companies we serve to engage more with their employees? Internal conversations instead of communication. Putting the employees first. Because in the beginning, before everything else, there were hard-working employees with great ideas. CIPR Inside invites you to join us to shape the future of internal communication. www.ciprinside.co.uk At CIPR Inside